that's good. Hey guys. Hi. <sighs> the background is a mood. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I forgot about my background. I just got done with the meeting. It just ran forever. All right, let's see. Yeah, I had to figure out there's a new code, so I had to do that. I was like, oh shoot. All right. Looks like we got more people. Everybody's slowly connecting. All right. I'll write this down that way I don't forget. Oh man. Let's see. We change. How long do you think we're gonna be going back to college? <laughs> do you have a guess? It's probably just as good as anybody else's guess. Uh, it is not set by us. It is set by whatever the hell this virus does and whatever we're able to do. I have to close the door, sorry. If Trump will get his shit together and get us a test that works, we can maybe get people back. <sighs> He's been stupid. Or enough tests, really, is what I mean. Yeah. Pretty much. Let me take this away before everybody freaks out. Oh no! Left over from my stats class. Anybody else here? No. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. That blue just stays forever. It's some strong shit. Oh, man. I've been in meetings straight since uh, 7 a.m. So I'm a little, uh, it's not even a word for it. Just, uh, that's, that's not even a word for it. Uh, I know Veronica's actually there. Are the rest of you guys actually there? You guys doing all right? Yeah, we're doing fine. I just think everyone's just tired of this virus. <laughs> They just let it go out, man. Makes sense. Uh, that's a, it's probably a widely held feeling. Let me see here. Ba, 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 ba. All right. Ooh. That's right. I got to keep track of this. Shisa, Misa. The next two Wednesdays is right. Hey, all right, let me see what else was it. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Bring out the helmets. Oh. Just trying to pull a book. You guys have any questions from homework stuff? uh concerns suggestions uh um know. actually i do sure so i posted most of my chapter five but um i haven't finished posting all of them am i allowed to still post the rest of chapter five that I've done for homework of course cool let me see let me look you up real quick here I think I remember seeing your stuff. You put it up in Canvas or did you email it to me? I actually put it in Canvas this time. Canvas, okay. All right, I think. Yeah, I figured out. All that. I think I thought I saw. Yeah, I see some of your stuff. Okay, all right. It's just someday I'll grade it. Someday I'll grade it. All right, let's see. All right, I got a decent number of people. 
people. I got Mia's wall. That's good. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh man. Any so any questions? Uh, any specific questions from homework or just uh, general questions about ideas or anything else? Suggestions about Canvas? Anybody having trouble with Canvas stuff? Um, All right, so if no, oh, here's some more people. Okay. There we go, all right. All right, I got this thing recording, good. All right, so if there's no, there's no questions at all from any homework stuff, okay. All righty. Uh, I just want to point out uh, a couple things. I do still have to get you the rest of the homework and timeline sheet. It stops at seven, but there's still eight and nine homework. Uh, I've got to create it. I just got to remember to actually get there and put it up uh, so you know it's coming. coming. Uh, our next test would have been next Tuesday. So what I want to do, I don't think I've announced did I announce a quiz last week yet? Even if you say no, I don't, I don't care because I'm gonna announce it right now. Um, what I'd like to do is to have a quiz. Uh, I was thinking about this earlier. Uh, quiz on, uh, uh, what is today, Monday? So I'm gonna quiz on Wednesday. You see somebody chatting with me. Anna, Anna, is that Yansha? Oh, you go by Anna. Okay. Uh, so let me say this again. Um, the test, there was supposed to be a test on the 21st, uh, which is next, what was it? Next Tuesday, right? Everybody remembers there's no more tests except the final, right? The tests have or will now be broken up. Broken, sure. Why not? Will now be broken up into quizzes. So I'm. We're gonna have a quiz uh, Wednesday on uh, six. Let's see. What was I thinking about? Six one through. Uh, yeah, I like that. Six one through six four. I'll let you let that sink in. And we're about to get into section 6.5 today. So that's why I want to do it on 6.1 to 6.4. So does anyone have any questions from anything in chapter six, but you know, more specifically 6.1 through 6.4. Everybody here knows homework is still due, right? I do have people turning in homework, but not everybody. Is anybody out there? You guys, I see, I see a few of you guys. Uh, Curtis is here. Thank you, Curtis. Okay, so if there's no questions, I'm just going to jump right into new stuff. All righty. That's fine with me. Um, So what we haven't really done much of yet is, well, the only thing left that we haven't really directly talked about is dividing polynomials. Uh, we're gonna slowly approach it because dividing polynomials gets really difficult. So just to show you an example, um, let me leave that up there in case people join later. Um, how do you divide, in order to divide this, 
Uh, right, if I wanted to try to divide, let me make it something that actually works. Does it work? No. There you go, Jeff. Good job. If I wanted to divide, if I wanted to do this, what would I do first? Could I divide it the way it's set up? Could I just start dividing things? Sometimes. You can do it. Come on. Could I? Could I? Could I like do six divided by two? Oh. No, definitely not. Why not? All right, let's do it and then watch. I think it's Holy crap. because of the, uh, it's a property. So we have to use a six plus, a, uh, we have to use a six over five plus two plus eight over five plus two. Yeah, you, that would be, technically uh legal but i would never want to do that right of course you would just do this wouldn't you right yes because what does this really look like it looks like this uh so sorry, sorry divided by there right now in fact let me put just put divided by specifically in there divided by but let me stop for a minute. Please, please, please. Just, just got to go with me here. You got to go with me. You got to go all the way with me. We got to get there. Okay. You can, division cannot cancel part of an addition because that's not what division does. That's not what division's purpose is. Uh, if I had a different problem, if I had this problem, six times eight divided by five times two, if I had that problem instead, then all day long, I can do six divided by two is three. Completely legal first step, completely legal. Because is division the opposite of multiplication? Yes. Therefore, division will kill multiplication parts. It will just will. But division is not the opposite of addition, is it? Nope. So I can't do that here. It won't cancel. It's not the opposite. How are we doing? Maybe, no. This is just still so weird. I hate it. Someday I'll be able to see you. I have lost my everything. Shisa Misa. Oh, well, too bad. I'm stuck with this thing. Look at that. That's been used a lot. Um, okay. So what we're working towards, we're not there yet, is to be, we're not going to get there today, just to let you know. But I do want to get to a point where I'm able to do something like this. Um, uh, well, you can do it, Jeff. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's do this, sir. You have to remember that all a variable is, is a number that I don't know yet. Therefore, variables must only do what numbers can do. So could I cancel an X out here? Could I cancel an X right here? Could I kill one of the X's there? Oh man, no. I wasn't able to kill the six and the two. I wasn't able to reduce that, was I? Why? Because division cannot kill parts of an addition problem. They are not opposites. Can division kill parts of the subtraction problem? No, they are not opposites. But over here, what am I able to do? I'm able to do this. So then I'm able to finish it up, aren't I? Can I do that same thing here? Can I put x squared and four together? No, I, I, I can't, they're not like terms. Okay, okay, so we're working our way up. So all I'm doing right now is I'm not trying to uh, freak you the shit out. I'm just trying to show you we will get to a point where we are able to do this. We're able to divide this. And I know right now you're some of you guys are like, I could go my whole life, Jeff, and never know how to, I'm like, all right. Can I say the bottom of X minus two is the whole part? I'm not sure what that means. Anyway, we don't know enough yet to do this problem. 
So guesses are always nice, but we need something built off of, you know, solid foundation. Okay. So the funny thing about section, oh, goodness gracious. Let me find my, oh yeah, that's right. Durr, look what I got. I got like a real eraser. And it's probably too late to try to use it on all this. Oh, shite, so. oh well, someday I'll learn. Are you guys all still with me? It's been a, I, I got, I've been in Zoom meetings for about six hours, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but 6.5 is old, old news, which is really, 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 really nice. So for example, let me give you a problem straight out of 6.5. Let me get to the homework. Where is it? Well, here, here we go. Perfect, perfect. Let's start off nice. Um, just somebody remind me, why did the 10th divided by y cubed? What, what's that? Now that I could do all day. There's no plus, there's no minus. Division can do its job. What is y to the 10th divided by y to the third? Anybody? Anybody? What's the property? What do I do with the powers when I'm dividing? If I have 10 Y's up top and three of them down below, yes, three will cancel, right? So you get Y to the seventh. So the property is when you divide like bases, you subtract the powers because that's just what makes sense. If I lose three Y's, I'll have seven left. So what about this? It's the same problem. It's just got more stuff thrown in there. What happens to the A's? How many A's are left? One. There you go, right? Three minus two is one, so I have an A. And then how many B's are left? Four. Yeah, eight minus four is four, it's crazy. Okay, does everybody see that? Just to remind you guys, I'll here, I'll look at the first one real quick. Um, that's the answer, but Y to the 10th would be, oh my God, 10 Y's divided by three Y's, right? Hopefully that's 10, I think so. Three Y's cancel, leaving you with seven. I don't wanna do that shit every time. Do you wanna do that shit every time? What about Y to the hundredth power? I ain't gonna write Y a hundred times. In fact, if you do, I might take points off. I don't want to see that shit. But this is the explanation about why the shortcut works. If I lose three Y's, I will subtract them from what I had. I had 10 Y's, I divided three. Of course I got seven left, right? Here, I got more than one letter. Ooh, it's two problems. There's a problem and there's a problem. Three minus two is one, eight minus four is four. Done. Okay. Let's see. So here we go. Here's the ultimate beast. Are you ready? Let me see. Oh yeah, that's looking yummy. Well, this is the pen ultimate beast, meaning it's almost the final boss. Um, Uh, let's not use O. All right. Sometimes people run 
because it, it just looks like so much. And you try to have the whole problem in your head at once. What I highly recommend is, is don't do that shit, right? Part of this problem is that problem, 30 divided by 30 over 48. Can you reduce that? Yes, we can reduce that. And then the next pro problem is 5Ms over 3Ms. How many cancel, how many are left? Do you guys see what I'm saying? It's a lot of mathematics is about can you break the problem down into parts because each part is probably not that difficult, right? So how do I reduce 30 over 48? What goes into, into both? Both, what goes into both? I'm fine, I'm not too crazy. Six. Six, that's right, six. So if I divide by six, right, I'll get five and eight. Oh shit, all right, haven't drawn on my wall yet. That's a good thing. Now how many, now look at the M's. M5 over M3, how many are left? Two. Two, where? On the top. Uh, How many ends are left? Two on the top. On the top. How many P's are left? Two at the bottom. Do you guys do you guys do you guys see that? Look at the P's, for example, right? This is the most direct war that's ever been fought. One side's got four and the other guy's got, I ain't got six fingers, shit. <laughs> but the four kill each other, right? Four P's cancel. There are two left where? On the bottom. So of course I write P squared on the bottom. I mean, this, it, it actually just makes sense. So the idea, now, now watch, just to show you that the rule of subtracting doesn't uh, stop working. What is four minus six? What is four negative minus two. Six? negative two? And what would a negative mean? What's a negative power mean? Flip. So do you see that's why the p squared's on the bottom? That's a whole other way to look at it. Personally, I don't like to bring negatives in if I don't have to, because that's one of the places humans make the most fricking mistakes, negatives and fricking zeros. So if I don't need to bring the negative in, I don't. And I don't, there would be two left on the bottom. I don't need that negative step in the middle, right? But I just want you guys to know the rule doesn't stop working. I just have a better way to look at this specific problem. Four minus six is negative two, and then it would flip on the bottom. But I don't need that step. I could just go straight there. You guys see, what, there, there are more M's at the, at the end. They're on top, because that's where there are more of them. N's on the top, that's where there's more of them. More P's on the bottom, that's where the leftovers are. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, I like it. Let me see how gross they get. Uh, that one's not that gross. Let me throw one at you. It's got a little bit more going on. All right, you ready? I'm gonna take all this away. Even this, gang. Okay. Am I recording? Yes. Um, how about this one here? What you got, Jeff? I oh, don't know, man. Who's finished? Anybody finished yet? 
This is a trick question. I would probably not, but it's not a trick question. Let me take that back. Students think it's a trick question. Remind me, what is anything to the zero power? We've talked about this before. Anything to the zero power is? I can only go back so far. There's a wall here. Well, okay, I see it. Do you guys remember that? Anything to the zero power is one. What is this problem? Something to the zero. So what's the answer? Done. Now I would not put that on a test or a quiz because it would be so evil. Some people would start working this out and wasting time. But this is important to notice. Look for your zero powers. Look for them and do them immediately because sometimes you'll be done. Okay, maybe, maybe. All right, so let's do one that's I've not got that freakiness. What about this one? I like this problem. I would like this problem. I still get people that don't, I still get people that are writing this three times. You got to stop. You need, because I could put the 30th power up there and oh my God, again, you don't want to write it 30 times. Can somebody tell me, uh, and, and the other thing is, what is the very first thing I've got to work on? I might have just given it away a little bit, but oh well. Order operations says what part of this comes first. That's right. And all the parentheses, there's nothing to do inside of them. So what comes next? Oh, you're okay, Curtis. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, it felt like you're capturing me when I'm drunk. Um, what comes next? Since you can't do anything in the parentheses, what comes after parentheses? Please. Ex Exponents. Exponents. So I've got to do this part first. I've got to do that part first because it has an exponent. It's got to be figured out before I can start putting this stuff together. So what is three cubed? What is three times three? I've given myself no room. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to work this one up, sorry. What is three cubed? 27. Nine. Nine. Yeah, not nine, it's not three times three, it's three to the third. So it's three times three times three. Three threes multiplied, so that's 27. And what is x squared cubed? Who remembers what to do with those powers? This will be x to the fifth. Sixth, exactly. I'm not used to seeing you as Anna. Exactly. It's not fifth, it is so not fifth. Uh, three groups of two X's, two, 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 that's six X's. There's no arguing with that, right? So we've already gone over why those power properties are the way they are. Now I can finish this problem out. The next thing I do according to operations is multiply, right? Multiply the top, I gotta multiply those together. Right, I'm going to take this bottom one away. I'm really not using my space effectively, but oh well. So now I can multiply the top. Why am I doing that? Because that's the next thing to do. Uh, 27 times 2 is 54. What is x to the 6 times x squared? x5. X fifth. Six X's times two more X's. Oh. Um, eight. Yes. 
when you multiply like bases, when you multiply like bases, you add the powers, right? And again, again, if you're not as used to this, when you see x to the sixth, can you see in your head six x's standing next to each other, right? X to the sixth means six x's standing next to each other. They have two more x's standing over there. So how many x's now do you have? Eight. Okay, maybe, maybe. Right. So x to the eighth, and then there's a y, right? There's a poor little y over there, divided by 9x to the fourth y. So then what do I get? What's 54 divided by 9? Six. How many x's are left? Four. How many Y's are left? Zero. None. They die. They kill each other, right? That's the answer. So what will save your ass? Order operations is always there to save your ass. As you do homework, you want to have the excellent notes you took on the properties of powers sitting next to you. So you get used to them. You can refer to that. You want to get used to them. You want to um, reinforce correct behavior. You want to do the right thing over and over. When you, uh, if I have x to the sixth times x squared, you add the powers. If I have x to the sixth squared, what do I do with this one? X twelve. Twelve, yes. Why? Because two groups of six Two groups of six is, of course, 12. That's actually the definition of multiplication, right? Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. You're going to love this. I don't know how you're going to feel about this, to be honest. I have a one o'clock Zoom meeting. Uh, uh, the state chancellor's office is having a Zoom meeting to explain uh, what courses we're allowed to teach uh, in the summer and the fall. So I want to, I want to be there. Um, so I'm really, really sorry. I'm going to cut the class short. Don't forget quiz on Wednesday. So anything you haven't finished six, one through six, four homework, that is your immediate priority. So you have questions to ask tomorrow. Uh, I am going to have a quiz probably next week on, uh, the rest of chapter six. Um, yeah. And section six, six is where we'll learn how to divide full polynomials, right? This will be neat. So what we did today was six, five. So any, anybody have any questions? I'm sorry that I have to cut today short. Uh, and I'm sorry I didn't log in earlier than I did. It's just, you wouldn't believe the number of meetings. Uh, anyway, or maybe you would, I don't know. All right, if there's no questions, I'm gonna shut this down so I can open up the other fantastic meeting. Okay, all right, guys. Um, I'm glad you could make it and I'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow I should be here for the full time. I'm not gonna let any meetings intrude tomorrow. All right. Uh, oh, sorry. All right, I see Youngsha, okay. I thought maybe that was a nickname that I didn't know you went by. I, I understand. Hey, real quick, uh, Youngsha, if you, if you click on participants and then click on your name, you can rename yourself. Like why I can rename myself Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, that's my name now. There you go, see? All right, all right. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Uh,